Okay, I want to talk about Spanish property. Uh, this is something that's been coming up for the last couple of months um, because I was talking to a friend of mine. Um, we, funny enough, we're, he's in Torvea and he, he moved over here um, around the same time we did. And I was just saying the property values can't go any lower here because there's a market for rentals. And when you look at the properties that are around, there is a lot of potential in just sitting on it and putting tenants in. Market reduced 4% last year at the end of the year. Happens normally anyway because you get that summer month where people go, oh, want a house in Spain. So that's normal. But the fact is that I think the prices are about to start climbing. There's several reasons why. One of the major ones is British pensions are now going to be open to people taking lump sums out. And one of the things that people want to do is retire in Spain in their droves. So that is already stimulating the market. This year alone, um, well, sorry, this year, there's been an increase of 30,000 properties that have been purchased um, since the start of the year um, on last year's figures. So the market's actually already starting to move in the right direction. I then looked at, well, what's the potential on these? Um, now, if you take into account that if you bought a property, you'd pay X. And then annually, you're looking at 4 to 6% return on rentals. You know, if it's rented out all year or just rented out in the peak seasons, because two types of rent. It works out about the same, because you could be renting for three months of the year in peak season, and you'll make as much money if you rent it out all year to somebody that rents on an annual contract. The workout is about the same. And it works out you're making 4 to 6% on your investment. Now, when I said to this to Tracy, that the guy I was talking to about it, he starts to say, well, that's actually better than you're getting an ISO in a lot of things in the UK at the moment. I think some of the ISOs were down to like one and a half percent or something. But on top of that, that is only on the rent. Because the property value is already rock bottom. It's going to go up. It may not be in six months. It may not be in a year. But it will go up over the next five years. And when I started looking at it, I said, well, what, what would actually stop people investing? Well, the answer is to buy a property, you, you're looking at well, 100,000, 50,000, um, studio apartment, 24,000. It's a lot of money for a lot of people. So what we do looked at is like, well, why don't we just set a group up? And each person in the group invests 5,000. So you get one property that's been purchased by five people and basically each, per, each person's invested 5,000. So you've got your first property up and running. It's been paid for in cash, so you're not paying any mortgage on it. So any return on it is a positive one. The property is not going to go down in value. The rental market is going to give you a regular income. You're going to get four to six percent a year in the worst case scenario. And on a good, good, uh, scenario it's going to go up in price so you, your investment is going to increase by because some of these properties are half the price they were when, when the market was in it, at its height so you've got a return on your investment that's going to be higher than you get with any bank but at the same time you've got an investment in a property that will increase so you could end up with um, four to six percent per year and if you invested in five years it might be worth 50% more, so you get a 50% increase in your investment at the end if you sold it, but also every year you've had a 4 to 6% return. So we looked at that and said, well, that's a good idea. Um, and then we thought, well, maybe we should look at, instead of taking the money out every year, rolling it as another share. Because if you've got to get 5000 for a share, and an apartment's rented out at 300 um, a month. Um, at the end of year one, it's going to have three thousand six hundred 
maybe take out 600 for fees for things like the uh, community charges and any tax liabilities etc so you've got 3,000 you only need 5,000 for a share so if everybody just sat on it and then we got another property um, by the end of year two the, the uh, initial uh, rent that you're bringing in would actually be buying a share of the next properties without having to do anything you know if you if you just had two properties and another set of investors or everybody else stuck another five thousand in you would get to the point where you got your five thousand investment plus a partial share of the other one that come off the rents and building it up over a period of time so it's just something we're looking at at the moment as an investment idea but it seems not only doable but because there's so many properties here that aren't marketed properly uh, properly for rent um because people want to sit on them for some bizarre reason rather than get a regular income there's a market to get people in you know you can get people in and rent them out you can get your return on investment every year or you can keep rolling it um and if you've got four or five properties you'll start to see that property six needs no investment because it's coming out of all the rents um so you end up with a huge portfolio that's had an initial investment of say ten thousand pounds over a period of time so that's just something to think about and i know i've talked about spanish property i'm not selling it to you because it's an idea that we're working on at the moment but i'm just saying there's always a a investment angle somewhere and like i said we're coming to spain um i've see, seen this potential before uh with, with my first trip when i first come out here when i sat there and thought nineteen thousand euros for for an apartment that's crazy money and there's there's a huge market for this so just wanted to see what people think you know how would you think about that sort of investment you know because obviously it's, it's not a pyramid scheme it's not a uh, what do you call it a ponzi scheme it's not stocks and shares it's bricks and mortar um that are actually uh, researched properly before we even invest in them because there's no uh, angle for me <laughs> i'm not looking at making a profit on the side i'm looking at building this up um for a retirement fund and as such my risk is as good as everybody else's and the same as trace's risk would be because we want it to roll and to get that rolling will take a bit of effort but i think by the time you got to property four and five you can start going this is starting to make some good money anyway let me know what you think